Okay, so now we're going to investigate y is equal to f of x plus 90 and y is equal to f of x minus 180. Okay, so let's see what happens. So if we draw in some axes, let's draw in some guidelines as well. So for 1 and minus 1. Okay, now when I put in the value of x is 0 into this, I get f of 90. Now, when x is 90, I get a value of 1 in this graph. So f of 90 is 1. So when I'm putting 0 into this, I'm getting 1. So that is a point for my curve. When I put in x is 90, okay, into this, I get f of 180. But I know that f of 180 is 0. So that's 0. And when I put in x is 180 into this, I get x, I get f of 270, which I know is minus 1. So from this, I can see that the curve would be looking something like this. So probably a bit more emphasis on that. So something like this. Now, because it must maintain its uh, original form, that must mean that it comes back round over here. Okay. So what that's meaning is that when x is minus 90, I get f of 0, which we know is 0. So here is minus 90. There is 1. There is minus 1. Here is 90. Here is 180, and here is 270. Okay, so this is the curve um, of y is equal to f of x plus 90. That's what it would look like. So clearly what's happened is that it shifted to the left. So it shifted to the left by 90 degrees. Let's have a look at this one, y equals f of x minus 180. Okay, let's draw in some guidelines. Let's see what's happened. So, when x is um, at 0, then I get minus 180, okay? So, f of minus 180, not interested in that, don't know where that is based on this graph, okay? So we're not interested in that point. x is 90, we get minus 90, not interested in that because it's not on our graph. Uh, when x is 180, then I get f of 0, which is on my graph. So f of 180, so let's say somewhere like there, then when x is uh, 270, then we're going to get f of 90, which we know is 1. So from those two points, we could kind of see that what's going to happen is that the curve will do something like that. So there is the 180. There is the 270. There's 360. That will be 450, Ooh. 450, and this will be 540. Okay, so the curve in the question has shifted 180 degrees to the right. So what we should be seeing from this is that this um, sign that is inside the bracket is the opposite of what we should be visualising here. So we would like it that a plus would mean moving in the positive x direction and negative to mean moving in the negative x direction, but it's actually the other way round. So when we're writing uh, y equals f of x being transformed to y is equal to f of x minus a, if we write it like that, then we can describe that as a translation 
by the vector, so this is a shift, so a translation, by the vector a0. It's not going up and down in the y direction, but it is going from side to side in the x direction. And subsequently, because that's minus a in there, it's positive a there. So if a here is 180 degrees, x minus 180, then that is 180. If uh, we've got x plus 90, then a would have had to have been minus 90, okay, to make the double negative. So that is how we can look at translations um, in the x direction, parallel to the x-axis.